All right, in this video, this is part six to making a custom calendar from scratch. And now we're going to uh, put some more touches onto row one. What we're going to address here is the overlap color versus the normal color. And what I mean by that in this uh, full calendar here, Craft Cal V5, we have November of 2018 and all the actual dates for November are a different color than the overlapping dates from the previous month. And then later on in this series, we'll cover those overlapping dates for the next month coming up. But for now, I want to show you how to get a color difference between the current dates and the dates that were from the previous month. This is actually going to be a quick tutorial here. Let's go ahead and go into the calendar from scratch. This is now part six and we have three globals to add. And those three globals are OLAP color, normal color and row one color. Now I did name those a little bit different, but you can see those right here. The OLAP color and normal color, those are actual color globals and I have one set to a grayish and the other one set to a green. And then we have to use these colors in the actual calendar. Let me scroll on over to our calendar tutorial here and I'm going to go ahead and touch this to get to the current date. And what we want to see right here in a moment is we want the normal colors, one, two, and three. These are the dates for November. I want those to be green and I want these other dates to be gray according to this here. The code is actually quite simple compared to some of the codes we've done so far in this series. The text global here is going to determine the color. Earlier in the series, we established a row one text global. That will return the date for some date on row one. It's going to be a number. And if that number is greater than seven, then I want to use the overlap color because that particular number is going to be a number from the month previous. However, if the number is not greater than seven, then I want to use the normal color. I'm using seven here because that's the highest number we want to see for the current month on row one. Anything higher than that is going to be overlap from the previous month. So therefore we're going to use this code here and now let me show you how to quickly apply this and we're also going to get rid of the gray background that we have for all of these dates. So let's go to our items, let's go to everything, let's go to row one and let's just keep one overlap group and delete all of the other ones. Remember this is the power of the module index that I've discussed quite a bit in this series. We can simply come in here and change this one. We'll copy and paste and everything's going to be just fine. So inside of this overlap group, I'm going to take this shape. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that gray background. Just going to make it transparent. So now we don't have that gray color anymore. Let's go back to the overlap group. Let's go to the text. Let's go to its paint and let's apply the code for row one color. Now you could simply type that code in but since I have a text global, I'm going to use that GV row one color. And again, I did name it COL on the end there. So I'm already returning a color here. Let me check that. And we have a gray, it's not green, that's good. And that's the only adjustment we have to make here. So now we can back out of here, take this overlap group, let's copy and let's paste it to fill up row one and watch what's gonna happen right there, boom. We now have the greens for the current month and the overlap is gray. And what's great about this is we can always go back into globals. We can adjust these colors to our liking. If I want the current month to have a red color and the other one, heck, maybe we want it to be completely transparent. Therefore, we will not see the overlapping colors. So it gives you that option there if you just want to completely hide them, make them transparent. But I'll come back in here and give it some color so we can see those overlapping dates. So overlap color is now the white, current color is now the red. Adjust those to your liking and uh, yeah, there you have it. That's how we can fix the overlap color from the previous month versus the normal color, which are the dates of the current month in row one. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped. 